This is Winning Cures Everything. Here's your host, Gary Seegers. What is going on? It is Winning Cures Everything. I am your host, Gary Seegers. You can follow me on Twitter at GaryWCE. You can follow the show at Winning Cures. Or you can just go to the website, winningcureseverything.com. It's got everything there. Facebook, YouTube, the podcast, all of the different links and whatnot. Uh, So go check that out, winningcureseverything.com. Let's give you the rundown for today, Tuesday, March 5th. We're going to talk about the uh, sentencing in the Adidas fraud case uh, for the NCAA basketball and whatnot. Uh, And we're also going to talk about bowl game changes coming in 2020 for college football. We'll talk about that as well. Uh, And I've got several college basketball picks for you tonight. Went 2-1 and one last night. That puts us at 173, 149, and 6. That is nearly 54%. That is profiting, my friends. We are making money. Let's jump in. Uh, the show, as always, brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They have got six incredible sports books. You can find more information on all six of them over at tunicatravel.com. Chris and myself, my usual co-host on here, uh, aside from The Daily Show, we will be at Sam's Town Casino in Tunica in the sports book live at 10 a.m. on Thursday, March 21st and Friday, March 22nd. The first two days of the NCAA tournament, we're going to be sitting there all day watching games, putting money on games, eating, drinking, having a good time. We are spending the night there at Sam's Town. Everybody come hang out with us. We would love to see you there. March 21st, March 22nd at Samstown Casino. We're broadcasting live at 10 a.m. both days. Uh, and then we'll also be broadcasting uh, live on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all that uh, in the afternoon as well before the afternoon session starts. So uh, make sure you check that out. There is a link on the Facebook page to RSVP if you're going to come out. Give us a shout. Let us know if you're coming. We'd love to see all of you. We want to shake your hands, tell you thank you for supporting the show. Let's jump in. Three sentenced in Adidas recruiting scandal. Former Adidas executive James Gatto got nine months in prison. Former Adidas consultant Merle Code, he got six months in prison. And aspiring sports business manager Christian Dawkins got six months in prison as well. Uh, It was over felony charges of wire fraud and conspiracy to commit wire fraud. Basically, they're going to jail for committing NCAA violations. What the, what the government convinced the jury of was these guys defrauded the different universities, whoever it was, Kansas, Arizona, USC, whatever, by making players ineligible by paying them money, even though they're supposed to be amateurs. So since they committed NCAA violations knowingly and made these players ineligible— It was basically fraud for what they were trying to give these basketball programs. That is an absolute disaster. I cannot believe that we are in a day and age when kids are getting paid under the table everywhere else. Had Adidas not actually had a paper trail on this, everybody would be fine. Pay the kids in cash. Or do what Nike does, which is pay the parents while they're in high school, but pay them, like, for a job, right? Like, don't just give them cash to go to a school. Give them money for a job, which is running a summer basketball program, even if they're not qualified for it. I mean, Marvin Bagley's family made so much money off Nike, it's not even funny. And yet, we're not talking about that. We're talking about Adidas, and, I mean, we're talking maybe top 50 kids that are not NBA locks, but just... You know, Brian Bowen, whatever. What are we even talking about here? So, I'm curious to see what the next trial in April is going to bring. It's going to be a lot more entertaining, I can guarantee you that, because of the Will Wade and Sean Miller stuff, where they are, they're being subpoenaed. They're probably going to be called. If I, if I were them, I would probably plead the fifth unless there's really nothing to hide. But if they got you on wiretaps, which is why they have subpoenaed you, you might have some trouble. Now, Will Wade, if the only wiretap they have is what he's got, which is we'll do whatever we need to, we just got to make sure it works, that's all he said, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. I mean, that could mean free tickets to games. That could mean, you know, just whatever. But that's not NCAA violations. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, But the fact that 
all of them got sentenced to prison time over this. That is absolutely absurd. Uh, but it does give the NCAA a lot more, um, what's a good word for it? Power. <laughs> As if they needed any more of that. Uh, let's move on. Bowl game changes starting in 2020. There's a lot of these, and it's very interesting. Uh, I'm excited about the first one we're going to talk about. The Las Vegas Bowl, they are moving it to the new Raiders Stadium in 2020. It will be the third or fourth place Pac-12 team, depending on the playoffs and, and the Al- uh, Alamo Bowl and the Holiday Bowl. Um, but it's going to be the Pac-12 against either the SEC or the Big Ten. And both of those conferences will play in the Las Vegas Bowl three times over a six-year span. And that also plays into the Belk Bowl, which is in Charlotte. In the years that the Las Vegas Bowl has an SEC team, the Belk Bowl in Charlotte will be an ACC versus Big Ten team. In the years that the Big Ten is in the Las Vegas Bowl, the Belk Bowl will have the ACC versus the SEC. So I think that actually works out pretty well. The Big Ten is the big winner as far as this goes. Much better locations. Uh, A lot of people like going to Florida and whatnot for them, but... It's easy to get into Charlotte, humongous airport there, easy to get into Vegas, really cheap flights, everybody goes to Vegas, everybody has a good time in Vegas. Uh, This will be a destination bowl game because everybody loves going to Vegas. That's the fact of the matter. Uh, So we talked about the Boke Bowl, we talked about the Vegas Bowl, the Los Angeles Bowl. That is a new one. That is basically going to take uh, the form of what the Las Vegas Bowl was, which is a lower-tier Pac-12 team against the Mountain West. So I think the Mountain West is looking forward to this. They will get into the L.A. market. There's more recruits there. That could end up working out well for them. Uh, so Pac-12 versus Mountain West in the Los Angeles Bowl, which is uh, it's going to be in the new Los Angeles Stadium, uh, which is the new L.A. Rams spot. So that that should be a lot of fun. The Holiday Bowl, there's no more Big Ten in the Holiday Bowl. That will be ACC versus Pac-12 going forward in 2020. The Gator Bowl, ACC versus SEC. Music City Bowl, SEC versus Big Ten. They locked those in. Outback Bowl, in years where the Big Ten is in the Orange Bowl, the ACC will be in this game against the SEC. So the Outback will always be the SEC, but it'll either be Big Ten or ACC. Uh, The Arizona Bowl. There is no more Sun Belt in this. It is now the Mountain West against the MAC. There's some really fun teams in the MAC. So, absolutely. We're, I'm all about this. Mountain West versus the MAC in the Arizona Bowl. They're trying to up their profile a little bit. Don't blame them for this at all. And the newest bowl, the Myrtle Beach Bowl. We talked about this being a possibility before. Uh, conference USA, the MAC, and the Sun Belt. Each conference will play in this game four times between 2020 and 2025. That is the plan. So, I like it. I like all these. I love bowl game changes and whatnot. Uh, For the smaller teams that are not ever going to be in national title contention, this is fun. And after a fun football season, it's nice to go do something over the holidays. Go out to a bowl game, watch your team play. Basically, travel. Make a trip out of it. Take the family. I love it. So I'm, I'm excited about the Vegas Bowl. Uh, the Pac-12 and the SEC have not played in a bowl game other than in the college football playoff since 1989. That is a long time. I think we need more Pac-12 SEC games. I, I think it ups the profile of the Pac-12. It'll definitely help them out. Uh, more people interested in watching that, I do believe. We'll go from there. Uh, we've got five college basketball picks today. One of them is a parlay. Four of them are sides. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Xavier plus four tonight at Butler. Xavier is on a winning streak. They are rocking and rolling. Butler is just kind of trying to get to the finish line, right? Uh, Butler is at home, but Xavier is on a a streak right now. I'm taking them plus four. Uh, Florida State, I've got a minus three. Yes, I bought a couple of points, or I bought a point on this. Uh, Florida State, look, at home, different beast. They're playing against Virginia Tech, who's coming off a win over Duke. I like Florida State minus three here. They play really well at home. Next up, Eastern Michigan. I'm taking them at home tonight. Uh, they are a pick em. Uh Virginia Commonwealth minus three. Uh, they're playing on the road. I bought a couple of points on that. Uh, I've got them at minus 150, but I love minus three here. 
That's one possession, right? I'm in with it. Give me VCU minus three. And then our money line parlay for tonight. I don't do a lot of parlays, but uh, I've got a five-teamer. It's plus 120. These are all big-time favorites. I expect all of them to cover easily. Put 10 bucks down on it. You win 12 bucks back. Easy enough. Nevada, Tennessee, North Carolina, Michigan State, and Utah State for plus 120. I'm in with it. So uh, those are the picks for tonight, Tuesday, March the 5th. Go check that thing out uh, over at winningcureseverything.com. You can click on gambling picks up in the navigation bar or down in the description if you're on YouTube or Facebook. Really easy. Just click on the link, winningcureseverything.com slash gambling dash picks. Easy to do. We appreciate you guys. Make sure you come out and see us March 21st, March 22nd, Thursday and Friday, the first two days of the NCAA tournament over at Sam's Town Casino in Tunica. We're going to be there all day, both days. We're looking forward to it. We will see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.